Hey, what's going on? This is Ross Omari from sqsptheme.com and I'm currently checking out what looks like the new Squarespace uh, templates and this is Squarespace 7.1. Um, it says Squarespace just got even more powerful, more flexible and easier to use. So um, it just so happens that I am creating a personal blog. So um, it looks like what they've done here is kind of taken the best of the the older templates and um, put them on this new new system that we're going to check out right now. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to pick one and jump in. Uh, this looks kind of, let's see what's the difference between, yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll try this one. All right. So, um, I don't know. <laughs> um, I played with what was, uh, you know, probably like a precursor to whatever this is. Um, so this is my first time testing out whatever they've got here. So I'm really excited uh, to see how this works. All right. So right out the gate, it looks pretty similar to what we're used to. Um, there's a button up here that says edit. So I'm going to click on that to see what that lets me edit. And OK, it looks like now I can edit content on the page so that I'd have to click here to edit the side he header, but I can edit this section looks like I can edit this section. You know, so I can edit. It looks like all the content. Um, cool. Um, and then I'm noticing here there are there's this kind of pencil thing. OK, so I can play with the alignment. Um, I can make the section height larger. Um, so basically what this means is uh, less messing around with spacer blocks um, and stuff like that. You can kind of just handle the format in all right here, which is really convenient. Uh, let's see what else you can do. Background. So I can add a background image or video for this section. Um, and it can be full bleed or inset. Cool. And then colors. Okay, cool. So these, to change these, I can go to the design colors palette. All right. So let's just play around with this, see what happens. Whoa. There we go. Okay, cool. So this is this seems pretty um, flex, flexible, <laughs> uh, which I think is the goal, what they're going for. Um, what else can I do? Let's edit the site header. Okay, so I can change, change the way this is laid out. Um, different variations there. That's cool. That's cool. I liked it as it was, so I'm going to put it back. What else can you do? Okay, that's the header layout. <laughs> um, it's redundant. All right, so site title and logo. So I can change my site title here. So tentatively titled Om Padre. Um, and I can upload a logo. Cool. So things that previously I would have had to go to the um, design panel to do, I can just do it all from just click and edit. So that's that's a really um, good upgrade, I think. All right, elements that I can add to the header, a button, cool, a cart, cool, um, and then style. Let's see what the style options are. All right, cool. So I think if you're familiar with version seven, which you probably are, um, if you're not brand new to Squarespace, then I think you'll find this to be rather convenient to have this uh, handy here. Um, you can do a lot of a lot of changes um, right there. So that is definitely dope. Let me hit save and uh, see what changed. What has changed in my design panel here? 
All right, cool. So fonts. All right, cool. So got tabs here, right? Sans serif, serif, and mixed. Um, not sure what I want. <laughs> so I think I'll probably be leaning, probably be leaning onto the serif side with this particular blog. Probably mixed. Sounds like it makes sense. Um, and they've given me some options here. I'm going to go with this one um, and trust, trust it. I'm not sure. Okay. I'm seeing the changes now. Cool. Um, I'm going to hit save. So I'm, I imagine if I click this, I should be able to, I guess, edit these fonts and change the base. Up. Okay. Let's see what happens. Custom. Okay. Now what? <laughs> oh, okay, cool. So I can change. Now I can customize all of this. Cool. So I'm not going to customize any of this right now, but it's great to know that I can do that. And it's also great to know that I don't have to. Um, that is already done. It's already done for me. This is great. All right, so let me jump back. Um, I can change the paragraph paragraph fonts here. Okay, cool. Everything. See what what I could do with advanced. All right, so now we're, it looks like we're getting to like the nitty gritty, um, which is cool. A lot of a lot more customization um, possibilities there. Dope. All right, so um, we've got colors, buttons, and space and blob. Wow. Okay. A lot that I've never seen before. So let's explore colors. All right. So here we've got a palette um, default theme. And so you can change, you know, for each section, you can, you can choose what theme you want. But it looks like here at the palette level, you can define, you can define the theme. So um, I'm just going to play around with this really quick because I want to get a cool theme. Um, I like this one. It's kind of how I'm feeling. There we go. Um, see what that looks like. All right. Okay. Interesting. Um, and then again, I can, I can definitely change that. I know how to change that already. For each section, so that's cool. And then let's see what we could do with the theme editor. All right, cool. So then we can create our own themes out of the palette. It would have been great if um, this matched what I have. But wow, this is a lot of a lot of things that you can customize. Okay. Now I'm curious. Um, if there's a way for me to, to save some of this stuff uh, from site to site, you know, um, that would be really cool if I can just have my own kind of color theme, color palettes, um, fonts, and then I can, that would, that would probably be, be next level if they haven't already built it into this. So buttons, um, see what you can do here. Okay, really simple. Um, space in, let's see what you can do here. Okay, so um, the basic page width, right? Make that a little smaller. Um, cool, so not much there. Blog posts, all right, so I'm gonna change the, the design for the blog post. And my colors just changed, which means that I probably should have saved something that I didn't save. All right, so blog posts, I can change the width. I can show the author profile. I don't think you could have done that before, which that's, that's interesting. Um, product items. Let's see what we can do there. OK, 
Okay. It's a lot of stuff. Carousel. Design slideshow. All right, cool. So a lot, a lot of things that you couldn't do before, definitely. Um, and I think it's it's dope too because you you also don't have to touch it unless you need to. <laughs> All right, so a lot of image styles you can do here for the different types of image blocks. Um, now, what I haven't tried to see is. Um, what happens if I change any of that stuff? Seeing what happens here. Um, but anyway, we're going to keep moving. Um, browser icon. Cool. That's pretty, I know all about that. Um, and then you can still throw your custom CSS in there. So that's cool. But although it looks like you probably won't need to um, use as much custom CSS with this version. All right, cool. So let's just jump into pages, which, um, all right, let's see what, what's changed here, if anything. Okay, so I can only add a page. What happened to, um, oh, okay, cool. So this is a huge, um, a huge level up from the last version. I can choose the kind of page that I want to create. So let's see what the blog blog possibilities are. I've got a masonry layout here. Cool. This is cool. Um, I think I'll probably probably stick with this style. Um, so we'll stick with that for the blog. And then, so there's some demo content, cool. All right, so let's see what we can do here now when we hit edit. Um, see if I can add that color theme to this section. Let's see what this looks like. All right, so that was pretty simple. Um, I want to go back to those pages because that looked cool and there's a lot there that looks interesting. Um, all right, so portfolio pages, uh, appointment pages. Yeah, this really... Um, Store pages. Let me see what this looks like. Cool. So this really takes it to another level for sure. Yeah, I would say this definitely makes it easier to um, just to get started and put together a website um, without doing a lot of heavy lifting, but still maintaining the flexibility uh, to be able to customize all the elements. Let's see, add a blank, and then you can add a blank page. Um, oh, this is cool. So privacy policy page, terms of service. It's a dope addition. All right, so let me jump, see what we could do here with the folder. Okay, it's a regular folder. Uh, and then links, see what happens here. All right, cool, so I can create a, a regular link. Um, Oh, let's check out if there's still a file. Okay, so there's still a file uploader. Oops, don't need that. Um, but it doesn't look like, well, we'd have to upload some files and test it out, but, um, all right, so let's see what else there is to play with with this new version 1.1. So far, we've gone through this edit um, functionality, the new design options, uh, the new new page layouts. Um, let's see if there's anything different about commerce. Doesn't look like it. Um, marketing options. These are all 
all as they were. Let's see what the promotional pop up looks like. So that hasn't changed. Cool. So it looks like there are three three major changes here with this um, new 7.1. You've got um, a host of new uh, or renovated templates. It looks like. Um, to give you a starting point and then from there you can change your uh, your design options to kind of create a palette or a theme um, that works for you uh, lots of customization options there if you drill down and dig deep um, and then again in pages you've got these new page layouts probably said that already but it's worth mentioning again because it's definitely um, definitely a cool addition that they've got here. So that's it. Um, if you uh, head on over to Squarespace Template Store, you'll you'll probably get to try this out and test it as well. Um, so I'm gonna be building out my new personal blog on the 7.1 system, and uh, if I'll share. Um, anything that comes up that's really interested in the Squarespace Entrepreneur Facebook group, which you can find on Facebook, just uh, search Squarespace Entrepreneurs. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So um, what else? Nothing. That's it. <laughs> uh, oh, if you want to uh, leave a question below, leave a comment, subscribe, that type of thing. And um, you can always shoot me an email at omari at sqsbthemes.com if you got any specific questions that I could probably help you with. All right, take care, peace.